Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we will integrate this given example by using this method called integration by parts which is right up here on the right hand side. The very first thing what we're going to do is we're going to manipulate it a little bit to make it really simple. So let's do this thing. Let's make a one trick over here x power 5. Can we write x power 5 as x power 3 times x power 2 is same thing isn't it and leave everything as it is x power 3 plus 1 dx so over here now we're gonna say that this x power 3 is our u and this whole thing is our dv what that means is what we said is that u equals to x power 3 and our dv equals to how much x power 2 x power 3 plus 1 dx so let's take care of this thing what is the derivative of u we want to find du isn't it so du equal to the derivative of this thing is going to be simply 3x square dx piece of cake Let's take care of the integral on this side to find v, isn't it? That's what we want to find. We want to find v. So let's integrate both sides. You know that the derivative and integral, they, are, they undo each other. So what we simply got is v equal to the integral of x squared times x power 3 plus 1 dx. So now our next task is, next job is to find the value of this integral. Now let's go ahead and integrate this thing, okay, over here. So we will be using a substitution method and I want to call this thing x power 3 plus 1. I want to call s over here. I want to call s equals to x power 3 plus 1. Then the, let's take the derivative on both sides. So ds equals to 3x squared, isn't it? The derivative on the right hand side and the derivative of 1 is 0. So that is going to be times what? dx, isn't it? So that tells you that dx equals to simply ds over 3x squared. Let's go ahead and plug it back in that over here the integral so that is going to be simply that is going to be x square times this is how much we got this is the square root of s isn't it times dx was how much ds over 3x square now look at one thing this x square and this x square cancels out so what we ended up with we got 1 over 3 outside isn't it and then s power 1 over 2 the square root of s is same as s power 1 over 2 times ds isn't it so that is going to be 1 over 3 so this the integral of s power 1 over 2 could be written as s power 3 over 2 over 3 over 2. So the next step is I want you to flip this thing over so I can write 1 over 3 when you take the reciprocal of this thing 2 over 3 and this s is same as by the substitution I put it x power 3 I can put it back x power 3 plus 1 power 3 over 2. Our final step is 2 over 9 x power 3 plus 1 x power 3 over 2 that's what we got the value so back uh, to our uh, this problem over here so that means v turns out to be how much 2 over 9 x power 3 plus 1 power 3 over 2 so that means we got so we got u equals to x power 3, we got this v value, du and d value. So that means now our this 
integral could be written as after the integration part could be written as u v minus v d u let's plug it in our values that so that's gonna be u is how much we figured out x power 3 times v is how much v is 2 over 9 i'm gonna put it down 2 over 9 x power 3 plus 1 power 3 over 2 minus the integral of v is how much 2 over 9 x power 3 plus 1 power 3 over 2 and then times du and du is 3x square dx let's simplify this thing so this could be written as 2 over 9 outside x power 3 and x power 3 plus 1 power 3 over 2 isn't it and over here you see this 3 and 9 they can reduce to 3 on the on the bottom isn't it on the denominator so I can write as a negative 2 over 3 outside and I can write this whole thing as x square times x power 3 plus 1 power 3 over 2 dx so the next thing what we need to do is we need to find the value of this integral right now just keep in your mind so let's go ahead and integrate this part before we finish off everything so i'm gonna put this one we're gonna use a substitution method i'm gonna say that t equal to x power 3 plus 1 so then uh, the derivative let's take the derivative on both sides so on the left hand side becomes dt the derivative of x power 3 is 3x square the derivative of 1 is 0 and then times dx so which uh, tells me that dx equal to simply dt over 3x square let's plug it in back over here everything so what this is going to happen is that's going to become x square times this becomes t power 3 over 2 times dx turns out to be dt over 3 x square so now what happened this x square and this x square is gone so what we ended up with 1 over 3 outside and then we have a t power 3 over 2 dt let's take the integral of this thing so that's gonna be t power 5 over 2 and 5 over 2 so let's go ahead and flip this 5 over 2 over take the reciprocal so this is going to be a one third times this becomes 2 over 5 and then t power 5 over 2 so 2 over 15 and then t was how much at the very first place that was x power 3 plus 1 power 5 over 2 and we got the value right up here so we are back to our original equation and we have just figured out the value of this one that turns out to be how much negative 2 out 3 outside and we figured out the value of this integral this turns out to be how much we just stated that one 2 over 15 x power 3 plus 1 power 5 over 2 and let's fill in blank this one as well so that was how much 2 over 9 x power 3 times x power 3 plus 1 power 3 over 2 and then we have to put a c which is arbitrary constant and finally we got our complete answer as you can see over here thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos